WUSA 9 Weather Impact is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. And I'm WSA 9 meteorologist Hopper Shutt. Yes, it's September, but we still have pollen to worry about. Not so much tree pollen or grass pollen, but now we have ragweed and mold spores. And really, it's going to become ragweed season. Grass is going to pretty much be on the way out. And we don't get rid of ragweed until we have a big frost. So it's going to be a, a, a minute. So uh, get ready. And you know what? 85 on Thursday, probably 85 again on Friday, 84 on Saturday. We're going to finish summer on kind of a, a warm note, not a hot note, but a warm note. So let's talk about the weather impact summer to fall. Yes, the weekend. That's going to be our forecast, our focus on the when the impact is going to be a few showers Saturday night and maybe a couple morning showers Sunday, possibly a late shower Sunday evening. Wouldn't plan around these showers. They're not going to be everywhere and they're going to be very, very short lived and very weak. So what do you need then? You need your sunglasses, really uh, make uh, make your plans. Most plans are safe and download the WSA 9 app if you have not done so already. So weekend preview like this 84 66 on Saturday scattered showers late. Notice we did not put a drop in. We did put a drop in for Sunday morning and then some sunshine temperatures uh, mid 70s. So we kind of, you know, lose 10 degrees at the flip of a switch. And that's from summer to fall because fall arrives at 844 on Sunday morning. So let's graph out Friday. What a spectacular day. You'd be a little bit of patchy fog well west of town, but temps in the 60s to start and then pretty much full sun, uh, low to mid 80s. Actually, it's still I know it's September, but you still need sunscreen. Um, Low 80s at 6 o'clock uh, Friday evening. I mean, that's just a perfect uh, day to take lunch out, a perfect day to have uh, some evening plans, and a perfect day also to have night plans because it's going to be very comfortable Friday night. So let's go through Friday. Early in the morning, upper 50s, Frederick, Leesburg, Hagerstown, 60s downtown. And then by 9 o'clock, we're 60s to around 70, full sun. Uh, by 12 31 o'clock, beautiful 79 in Frederick, 82 in DC. I mean, maybe you can't take lunch out. Maybe you could just go to your favorite uh, coffee place and grab a coffee and take that outside because it's spectacular. By 6 p.m., we're still in the 70s, uh, around 80 downtown. By 10 30 on Friday night, look at this. If you have plans outside, perfect. 60s, comfortably cool, but not too cool uh, and generally clear. So, Saturday morning, a few high clouds come in. Uh, temperatures in the 60s and notice yeah, a couple of showers possible. Super light showers out toward Cumberland and then across the divide into Oakland and Garrett County. And then by 10 a.m. I mean, we're generally just mostly cloudy with a couple of isolated sprinkles. Everything of any significance is across the uh, divide. And then as it moves south and east, it kind of loses its punch. I mean, one o'clock. Yes, yeah, some showers possible. Winchester, maybe the Leesburg or Bluemont. I know it's a Bluemont Fair uh, this weekend the 54th Bluemont Fair at Saturday and Sunday. Go ahead, pick your day. It doesn't really matter because the showers are going to be short lived anyway. That's so that's one o'clock on Saturday. Notice, you know, they just kind of dry up. I mean, by seven o'clock Saturday. OK, isolated sprinkle here and that's it. So more clouds than anything on Saturday and still a nice day temperature wise um, by 10 o'clock on Saturday night. Yes, some isolated sprinkles, but they are few and far between. So again, I would not plan uh, around that at all. Look at these temperatures. Average high now is like 80. So 85 on Friday, DC, Manassas, even 83 in Hagerstown, 84 in Fredericksburg, and uh, 84, 85 in Bowie and Bethesda. So a pretty toasty day uh, on Friday, just a, but a beautiful finish. Okay, let's talk about temps. Next five days, 85, 84, and then we're out of summer. So in it, it's going to feel like fall. Mid 70s on Sunday, mid to upper 70s on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, these days a little, a little cooler because of some clouds and a few showers, not not a washout, but a few showers. Let's talk about the next 10 days. Nothing crazy. Uh, we stay in the 70s. In fact, pretty consistent upper 70s Thursday. We drop a little bit the next Friday and Saturday, mid 70s and then upper 70s Sunday. And by that time, upper 70s is going to be the average temperature. So this is a pretty good stretch and it really kind of works out well. Our last two full days of summer are going to feel a little more like summer than fall. That's kind of nice. All right, brunch forecast on Saturday. Great 10 o'clock, 73 upper 70s on uh, at noon and then boom 80 at 2 o'clock. Really nice day. A few clouds. Yes, but don't worry. So mid 80s on Friday. We'll keep that late shower in on Saturday, but a better chance overnight Saturday and early shower possible on Sunday. Temperatures go back in the mid uh, 70s. So next seven days we're looking at 
A stray shower Monday, a little better chance of some showers on Tuesday, even a better chance on Wednesday, and then some showers possible on Thursday. Uh, temperatures back in the upper 70s, and the Nats back in town on Tuesday.